All right, for this video, we're going to cover switching from PETG, which is what we're printing now. California Filaments PETG, which is really great. I've done a review of that. Prints real smooth. And we're going to be switching to P PLA. I'm doing some prototypes. I'm just going to use this cheap PLA that came with the printer because I'm not, I'm not going to tell them just for checking parameters and so forth. But to transition between one and the one and the other, I'm going to use this cleaning filament, which I have shown this before. But I'm just going to show you my procedure for switching from one filament to type to another. If I'm just going from one PLA to another PLA, I don't bother with this. And same thing for PTG. But since I'm using uh, different uh, conditions, I want to make sure the printing head is cleaned out thoroughly because we have different melting temperatures. So for PTG, I'm using uh, 237 for the extruder and 65 degrees for the bed. So the bed temperature doesn't matter, but the extruder temperature does. So uh, first we're going to take this last print off of the print bed. Let's get that going. Outer Rim uh, Star Wars game dashboards I'm printing using PTG. So I selected PTG for this because it's a lot more durable and flexible because they come in different parts. They have to they have to fit together. So let's get rid of the stringer here and get rid of the little stringer off the last piece. So. I recently switched back to using Micro Swiss uh, nozzles. And uh, I had to use these brass nozzles because they were cheaper. I think I'd just swap them out more often. But <clears throat> the Micro Swiss nozzle is just a lot more uh, properly machined. This is a 0.2 millimeter bag, but I'm using a uh, 0.4 millimeter right now. And so they're just machined a lot better, and the filament lays down so much more smoothly. It comes off so much easier that I'm never going back to brass nozzles. I don't care what they cost. So. And the um, uh, Micro Swiss nozzles um, are super durable, so you don't need to scrub them out really. Probably almost never really, but eventually they'll get kind of gummed up and I, I might swap them out. But main thing is the filament goes down a lot better and uh, much more evenly, and it's easier to get off of the print bed because the the, the brass nozzles, I think, were um, a little bit bigger than 0.4 millimeters, so it was blobbing out a lot more. You see the bottom of this is super clean, and the top is nice and shiny like PTG usually is. So. All right, so that's that. We'll just put that aside. This is mainly about switching um, filaments. I'm also using this outline, and you can see it comes right off. When I was using the brass nozzle, um, it would often stick to the print bed. So this basically comes off just by pulling it. So it makes clean up a lot easier. It's stuck a little bit over here, but it'll come off. Yes. In the brass nozzle, I have big sections of the outline. Stuck to the bed, and I have to use a lot of uh, elbow grease or heating up the print bed to 120 degrees, and then it'll come off because the PDG will melt. That's a trick I showed on another another video. To clean your print bed when you have a print that stick, sticks to the bed, just heat it up higher than the melting point of the filament, and then you can just um, peel it off. And you don't have to do a lot of scraping, which, which affects the roughness of the surface and makes it so things don't adhere anymore. All right, so now here we've got our print head. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the filament by using the filament unload button. The filament came out nice and fine. And then we're going to grab any filament that dripped out of the bottom using our uh, tweezers. I have a link to these tweezers in the uh, description. The first thing I'm going to do is clean out, clean out this uh, print head. Let me get up on top here. We're going to clean out the print head as much as we can. So we'll clean out this print head. We're gonna unscrew the fan screws in front. 
I've shown this before, but I just want to do the whole procedure as one video. To give you my procedures. This works. The main thing I'm looking for is uh, reliability of printing, because I'm, I'm trying to sell stuff, so if a print failed, it's a big deal. I mean, I wasted hours and hours of print time and got nothing out of it, so. So the other thing I've been doing, I think I showed this in another video, is is uh, push the push rod down to the bottom and then spin it, and then that'll get some of the filament to stick to it. And use the tweezers again to grab anything that pushed out on the bottom. And when you pull it out, you see some of the filament stuck. And I have to quickly scrape this off. Did that off camera, but basically I used the, this other this um, spatula can with a printer. I just used that to scrape off it because it hardens within about uh, five seconds. So. You gotta scrape it off right away or it doesn't work. Just you can always stick it back in there and remelt it, but the whole idea is to get the filament out of the heat brake tube. Yeah, you know, by spinning it, you're you're um, getting some more of the filament out. You see a little bit more came out. So. Get that off. That's not, usually two pushes is about all we can get out. Then we're going to use our needle. We'll use our 0.4 millimeter needle. To poke down in there. And then uh, let me reposition the printer. Camera again. Yeah. And push the needle down through the bottom, or through the top rather. And you're ready with your tweezers because sometimes filament will come out, poke out through the bottom, and stick to the needle. So. Push it down. Some of these needles won't go in very far. They're not super. There is some filament left on the needle, so you try to scrape that off before it solidifies. You didn't do a great job that time. I didn't. I was trying. I'm trying to film this. I didn't really go fast enough. Basically, when it comes out, you have like two, one or two seconds to scrape down with your uh, tweezers to get this film. I'll, I'll get it off later. So I'll the main thing is we got it out of the printer. That's the bit that's my main goal. Some of it sticks to the needle. Doesn't really make that much difference. All right, so now the print head is clean, as clean as we can get it anyway. But there's still residual PTG in there. So we don't want that mixing with the PLA, because we're going to be running PLA at 225, and the PTG is not going to melt properly. So tighten this back up. And then we'll um, go ahead and use our brass brush and, and wipe off the bottom of the uh, nozzle. That's how you keep it super clean. This, again, there's links, not these exact ones, but a similar one that I made similar to this. You want to use a brass brush because it's soft and it won't scratch the, uh, the, uh, won't scratch the nozzle. Okay, so, because uh, particularly this nozzle is nickel hardened, uh, or, uh, it has a, a nickel coating, which is harder than brass. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, take our PTG filament out of the printer. So we'll go ahead and snip off this blob section at the end. And we'll get off our little uh, uh, guider. So we, we put this tube in the top of the printer to help prevent erosion around this little hole. That was a tip on another video I saw it read with, right after I got the printer. It's been working out pretty well. It also keeps it from the filament from going at such a low angle, which can cause problems and cause breakage. So it's like a little strain relief, like this thing is, to guide the filament down into the print heads. We want it to go straight down as best we can. So a little curve in it, so it kind of curves it around right at the end. So this is a good thing to do. Just use some of your uh, heat break tube filament that you've got for replacing it. So now we're going to take this filament out, and then we'll load up the. Uh, uh, cleaning film. All right, so I've covered this cleaning filament in another video. Basically, it's I got a little bit wide range of uh, uh, plastic that will melt at different melting temperatures. But the, the main idea is that you, if you're going from a high temperature to a low temperature, first you run the cleaning filament through at the low at the higher temperature, 
And then you change the temperature down to the lower temperature, then you run it some more out, and then you go ahead and clean out the printhead, then you'll get out almost everything. So, so again, this has a little blob at the end from the last time I used it, so we'll cut that off. It's a nice clean end that'll go into the print head. So we put it in the print head. I'll just show that off camera. Put it in the print head. And then we start uh, filling it below. I'm just going to let it go in for a while. Let some come out, and you'll see at the beginning there'll be some black on it. That's from the PETG. So. Yeah, so well, I'll, I'll snip this off in a second. Here. Let me see it closer. Let me stop this for a second. And you can see on the bottom there, hopefully, put a white card behind it. So you see that black? See, that's the PETG that's still, even though we cleaned it out, that's still in there. We'll run this maybe. Uh, about a minute or so. I don't know. See, every time we start and stop it, more comes out, so. There's some more black there. You can see. So, so we keep starting and stopping it. For some reason when it's running, it doesn't seem to get a lot out, but then when you start and stop it, you start it up again, some more comes out. So we keep doing that until we don't get any black on the beginning of the, uh, the loading. So I did some, when I get most of it out, I just push the unload button. Then it'll stop by itself. So unload just runs it for a little bit. And there's a teeny bit left. We'll try one more time. Again, since I'm doing a prototype, uh, it doesn't really matter if a teeny bit of PTG is in there, but we want to make it come out as best we can. So. so there's still some left in there. Keep going. All right, so I'll go ahead and keep doing this until I don't get any left, and then we'll, it'll be done. So just a second. All right, so I did it about five more times. There's a teeny bit left here, but I'm going to go ahead and transition to the lower temperature. So now set our uh, extruder temperature. We'll go ahead, go ahead and reset the uh, bed temperature too. Because we're really, well, then forget about that. So we're, I print all my POA at uh, 45 degrees bed temperature and 225. That works the best for me. Part, I'm running at a higher temperature than most people, I think, but I'm using the silicone sock on the bottom of the printhead so it doesn't remelt the uh, I'm going to have to lay it down, so it's really supposed to be, it always flows, it doesn't clog, and I get good layer adhesion because I'm using, you know, 100% fan after the first layer. And that Those those work the best for me, so everyone's a little bit different, every printer's a little bit different. So we'll go ahead and um, go back to uh, load filament. So now they print, print, um, the, the, the head cooled off to 206, so it's going to heat back up. Meanwhile, the print bed is going from 65 to 45, which will take a while. All right, so now we're loading at um, the uh, cleaning filament at 225. So we'll go ahead and stop this. Now you can see on the end of it, there's still a little bit of uh, a little bit of PETG in there, that black there. So. Let's just run this a little bit more. We'll try it unload again. Okay, that's just a tiny bit left. So I'll do it a couple more times. And then uh, we'll just go ahead and clean the print head out and we'll be done with, ready for the peel. All right, so we cleaned it out and we're going to go ahead and unload this filament. The cleaning filament. Again, it has a little blob at the end of it cut off next time. And then we're going to go and do our regular uh, cleaning using uh, our push rod. And then we'll be all set to go for our, uh, for our PLA. 
and we'll do our next prototype, our next product. So that'll be exciting. All right, so I just showed this already. I'm not going to show it again. Just unscrew this, use the push rod, twist it around, pull it out. One thing about the push rod though is don't don't go up and down like this. I did that for a while, try to get more filament out, but what happened is I was rubbing the side of the uh, heat brake tube and it, would, it made a hole in it. So then of course it was clogging it up. So, so always uh, just push it down and, tw and spin it around. That'll uh, make some more filament stick to the push rod. All right, that's my procedure for switching between PETG and PLA. And I do the same thing on the reverse. When I go to PETG, what I'll do is I'll first I'll run the cleaning, I'll clean the printhead, run the cleaning filament using um, the lower temperature, 225. Then I'll go to 237 and run it through at that temperature, and then I clean it out, and then I'll be ready for PETG. So do it, do it in both directions whenever you're switching filament types. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.